Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a video, um, a review on the Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfecti Perfector BB Cream. Um, as you guys know, if you guys watch a lot of like makeup videos and stuff, there's a lot of hype, um, like this whole summer and even in spring of BB creams. Um, I think it started with like the Smashbox one and BB cream. BB creams are like really famous in uh, Korea and then I think like Smashbox was like the first company in America or something that started I'm not really sure so don't like take my word on it but it's something like that and then the drugstores um started making them this is the first one that came out I believe and then like I know Maybelline has one now but I bought this a while back just right around when it came out. I bought this in like May. And it's like July. So I've had it for two months. And I thought I'd just do a review on it. So. Um. Let's talk about pricing first. Um. It was about 12 or 13 dollars when I bought it. So it's somewhere around that range. It is kind of, for drugstore. Um. Products that is kind of expensive. But. I mean, it's a new hype, you know. Of course, they're going to make it kind of expensive. Um, and I made wise, it only comes in two shades. I bought light, medium, and then they also have one which is medium deep. Um, they should, personally, I, well, I think almost everyone thinks that they should have, like, a bigger range. Because you only have, like, two shades for a face product for, like so many different shades of people it's like you're obviously wiping out like a lot of people um this does not um work for me the shade color at least just because it is so um it makes me so orange looking like you can totally it's like orange medium deep color like on my face like you could totally tell so I never went out in public wearing this just because it's totally not my skin color. Um, here, I'll do a swatch for you. Looks like that. You can already, it, I know the lighting is not good at all, but you can tell that it is brown on my skin. Like brown and orange. Not brown, tan. And then I blend it out. I mean, you can just totally tell, like, the skin difference. Um, the coverage is pretty good, actually. I mean, you can tell it's, like, covering. Like, you can see right here, like, a vein. But, like, the ones, like, here you can't see. So, the coverage is good. Um, but, yeah, I think they should have had more different, um, a shade range. Just because I can't, I bought the product. But I threw away the box because I didn't just, I just started using it like a couple days ago. But I threw away the box and the receipt so it kind of sucks for me. But yeah, so I can't return it. Um, it is, they should have a lot of different shades. If you have light skin, I do not recommend this at all. I have very pale skin. Um, at MAC I'm at NW15. So obviously I'm really pale light and pale I think you have medium skin you should go with this one uh, the medium deep I'm not really sure because I haven't like tested that one out and I don't know like what skin tones would range but I mean you guys can kind of just tell but if you're buying it it is gonna be on a whim and I recommend you saving the box in there seeing using it as soon as you buy it just so if it doesn't work you can um, return it unlike me who's gonna have to keep this or toss it but yeah it's um it's really greasy so if you have oily skin I do not recommend it maybe if you have normal to combo skin maybe if you have dry skin I definitely do recommend it I have very dry skin so I mean if it was my shade it would work kind of good I guess but it is extremely greasy um, what I normally do in the morning is I put my moisturizer on, then I wait 15-30 minutes, and then I put, like, my primer, my foundation, and all that stuff on. 
but this even I waited 30 minutes the first time I tried this and after I put my primer and then I put this on it was so greasy it was it felt so just like it was greasy and oily it just felt really disgusting I just I did not like it out so I just immediately took it off and then I went with my normal foundation routine that day so obviously I haven't worn it since just because it does not work for me um Personally, I do not recommend the product, but that's just my point of view because it doesn't work for me. But I think it could work for a lot of other people, so just kind of know, um, like, if what your skin tone is, if it's hard for you to, like, find shades that match you and stuff, I don't, this probably isn't the best product for you, but, um... If you have more like tan skin, I think that actually this product would be very good for you. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just my point of view. I think the product itself, the idea is great. Like, honestly, I think if they made it less greasy and they had a wider range of shades, I would try that out and hopefully I would like it. But... I mean, it just didn't work for me. I am kind of bummed because I was really excited to try BB cream from the drugstore. I have not tried um, any others, like Smashbox or whatever. I want to try the Maybelline one. I just haven't, it just hasn't been in my stores for me to buy it. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. If you, I don't know if I went like really in depth. I haven't like watched reviews about this product. So maybe like check out a couple other ones before you buy it to try it out for yourself, you know. But yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!